Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see why we need variables in click and how to create them. To save our time, I have already created an application. This is the script of the application where we have customer, employee, product, supplier, order table and I have also created master calendar and this is the data model. The top filter pane contains all the dimensions, country, customer, category, product, supplier name and employee name. While the second filter pane is having all these calendar fields. There are six KPIs, YTD sales, YTD profit, previous year to date sales, previous year to date profit, year to date versus previous year to date sales, YTD versus previous YTD profit. If we look into the KPI expressions, I have used this set expression. If you want to learn about set expression and YTD sales, then you can look into my video, video number 17, 18 and 19. I have bypassed all these calendar filters so that when user will select order year, quarter, month, year or order month, it will not reflect the final KPI output. Same way I have created for YTD profit, same way previous year to date sales, previous year to date profit. Here in YTD versus previous YTD sales, the expression is this is YTD sales minus previous YTD sales. So it will give me the difference of YTD sales versus previous YTD sales and the same way it is for profit. In a bar chart, I have used two expressions. One is for YTD sales and one is for previous YTD sales. This is for category while the bottom bar chart is for country wise year to date versus previous year to date profit. Here I have used two expressions. One is for YTD profit, one is for previous YTD profit. Now say that we are adding one more field here, say week. I will reload this application now and I need to add this field in my calendar dimension filter. So I will add here order week. So according to the set expression, whenever I will select anything in order year, order month, this selection will not affect my end result. But because order week we have added after writing the expression, we have to manually add this order week in all our set expression. So what I need to do here is in all my expressions where I have bypass calendar fields, I have to go and add this order weeks. This I have to do for every single expression where I have bypass calendar fields. So you can understand how many expressions I have to change. One, two, three, four. There are two here, six, two here, eight. 2 here and 2 here. Total 12 expressions I have to change. So this is only a one page. It could be possible that we have few expressions for quarter to date, previous quarter to date, week to date, previous week to date or say month to date, previous month to date and there will be many click sheet in our application and there will be hundreds of expressions. So we have to go one by one all the expression and we have to change it. So instead of doing this, I can handle this one easily by creating variables. So say in our case for YTD sales, I have used YTD sales at how many places? One in KPI here, one in comparison of YTD versus previous YTD sales to the third one in the bar chart. So instead of changing or modifying my expression at three different places, if I would have created variable and if I have used that variable at three different places, then only thing I need to do is only change the value of one variable. I will show you how can I do it. So I will create variable here VYTD sales and the value I will copy from here and inside the variable expression I will paste my definition and then and instead of using this expression, I have to use VYTD sales variable with dollar sign expansion. So if I have used the same at three different places, 
then I have to change only one variable. So now I am going to post this video and I will create variables for YTD sales, YTD profit, for this sales difference and for, for this profit difference. I will show you what are the variables I have used. First of all, I will post this video and I will create these variables. So I have created six variables. One is for YTD sales. One is for YTD profit. Then previous year to date sales, previous year to date profit. Fifth one is for YTD versus previous YTD sales. And sixth one is for YTD versus previous YTD profit. I have also created another dashboard using the variables. So you can see now I have used the variables here. For all my expressions, I have converted my expressions and I have written variables everywhere. Now say I am creating one more field here. I will say weekday temp date as order week day. I will reload this application now and in my calendar filter I will add this field. And now, because this field is now part of my selections, the selections will reflect in all the KPIs. So I need to bypass this field. So now I have to add order weekday in my all set expression. So instead of modifying at 12 places, I now have to modify only four expressions, four variables. So what I will do here, I will go to edit and then I will say order week day. So I am bypassing now order weekday at four different at four different variables. So now even though I will select anything, it's not going to reflect in my KPIs. So instead of changing all the expressions, I only have to change variables. So variable is actually a container which is storing static value or a calculation. You can store string, you can store numeric value, you can store alphanumeric value. So whenever you change the variable, it will reflect in all the objects where you have used the variable. So hope you understand why we need to create variables in click. It is easy to modify your expressions. In next video, we will learn how to implement variables from an external file. Thanks and have a great day.